All right, now let's get to a developing story in the South Bay. Moments ago, San Jose's police chief gave an update on the ambush that left one of his officers shot. And we just learned the suspect should never have had a gun. He has been identified as 44-year-old Gabriel Carreras. Police tell us he is a convicted felon. Now, it all happened just before 8 a.m. at the Midtown Plaza condo complex at Race Street. Katie Nielsen has been following this story all day for us, and she has the latest for us. Katie. Juliet, as you mentioned, Police Chief Anthony Mata addressing the media just moments ago with new details about what happened here in San Jose earlier today. He said one female officer was shot as she was responding to that call. She is in stable but critical condition at a local hospital. He said she was the first female officer to be shot in the line of duty. It was actually her partner that pulled her out of the line of fire. Now, as far as the suspect go, goes, Gabriel Carreras, he's 44 years old, and apparently he had already been convicted of a felony in Santa Clara County and was on probation at the time of this shooting this morning, which means he should not have had a handgun in the first place. The police chief expressed his absolute dismay at this morning's events. Tonight, I stand before you full of emotions, angry, grateful, and with a profound sense of pride in the officers of this great department. Now we are learning more details about exactly what led up to this incident. Apparently around 820 this morning, a woman called 911 saying her husband was drunk and trying to hit her. She apparently tried to hide in the bathroom, but said that he had broken down the bathroom door. Two officers responded to that condominium complex, and then the police chief says when they got there, they were ambushed. Apparently, the man was at the top of the stairs, and when the officers announced that they were there, the suspect came out onto the balcony and shot that female officer once in the midsection. The chief says the partner's officer pulled that injured officer out of the line of fire. That's when the suspect barricaded himself inside the home along with his wife. The police chief says that is when an approximately four hour long standoff took place and right around 1215 PM when SWAT teams were in place, we heard a number of loud bangs and people in the area describe feeling tear gas. I was just standing looking at what was going on. And I heard a big old boom and I thought maybe I was like a little tired because my eyes just started watering. Then I, the aroma of like ammonia came over me. I was like, wow. Then I see one of the other guys jump out of the van and goes, wow, look, he's rubbing his eyes. And I, I knew it wasn't just me. So whatever that was, was really strong. We saw cops with uh, AR-15s, helmets, just different kind of SWATs walking around up and down the block. So we kind of knew it was a little serious. Our company took precautions to really make sure that we were taken care of, locked down, closed doors. They wouldn't let anybody in the business. Shortly after hearing those loud bangs, we saw one man being loaded into an ambulance. We believe that is the suspect. Sources within the police department say he might have been bitten by a police canine as officers were arresting him. The police chief did confirm that he was taken to the hospital. We do not have an update on the suspect's condition. But again, we do know that that female officer who was shot is still in critical but stable condition at a local hospital. And as well as the police chief, San Jose's mayor, Matt Mahan, was also at this press briefing saying that he cannot believe there is more gun violence going on in San Jose, especially at the hands of a man they say is a convicted felon who never should have had a gun in the first place. Absolutely. Juliet? Katie, thank you for your thorough reporting all afternoon. And um, our hearts go out to that officer. and We'll continue to con uh, update her condition. Katie, thank you.